This is the Nokia X35G. This smartphone is a rocking Snapdragon 695 CPU, 6 or 8 GB of RAM and 128 or 256 GB of storage, squeezed into a sleek looking frame made from 100% recycled aluminium, capped off by a rear panel made from 65% recycled plastic. There's Gorilla Glass Victus up front to cut down on scrapes and scratches, and the whole thing is IP67 dust and water resistant to shrug off rain showers. The plastic feels surprisingly premium, and the metal frame is nice and cool to the touch. An in-display fingerprint sensor is also a welcome addition. With a 6.43 inches screen, it's also fairly pocket-friendly. The 2400x1080 panel uses AMOLED tech which delivers superb contrast and vibrant colors, although average brightness is a fairly middle-of-the-road 400 nits. It peaks at 700 nits, but we still struggle to see the screen clearly at Nokia's outdoor demo area. The 90Hz refresh rate is a welcome middle ground. We'd much rather have it than a more basic 60Hz, even if the smoother 120Hz is more common among similarly priced rivals. Cameras might be where the X30 stands out. The 13MP ultra-wide secondary snapper sounds like standard fare, but the main lens gets a 50MP sensor that packs in plenty of detail. Nokia has also added a new capture fusion mode, which uses the main sensor to boost the clarity of any ultra-wide images. A cropped and zoomed snap from the main sensor is combined with the ultra-wide image, so the center of the shot is cleaner, and with more detail. We're fans of Nokia's 333 policy of warranty years, Android updates and security patches, which should guarantee the X35G has a long life ahead of it, even if the first owner won't actually see it through to the end. Nokia reckons it has tested the battery for an extended number of charge cycles, so shouldn't fade as quickly as some rivals. That could be handy, given it only has a 4200 mAh cell. Even with a fairly moderate CPU, that might not translate to extensive battery life. We like what we've seen so far on the hardware front. Ignore the misconception that recycled materials can't also be premium materials, as the X35G feels every bit the modern midranger. If you have gotten value from this video, make sure to like and subscribe to Tech5 for more.